Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Jack Rowe Insurance, your independent agent serving all your insurance needs. The Citizens Bank of Moorhead, the home of totally free checking. Larry Fannin, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. Lakeside Christian Academy, located on US 60 West in Moorhead. Educating for eternity. Visit us online at lakesidechristianacademy.org. Stand for Builders Paving and Sealing of West Liberty. Professional work at low prices. That's how we roll. The Tim Short Auto Group. Take the short drive to satisfaction. Northcutt and Son Home for Funerals. Serving others as we would like to be served. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, where friendliness prevails. By J.W. Wood and Quality Staves in Wallingford. And by U.S. Bank. All of us serving you. Hi, everyone, and welcome in to this special bonus edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball from the campus of Moorhead State University. And special in the fact that today we are talking about the new head basketball coach at Moorhead State University. The interim tag has been dropped the 14th head coach in program history, and I'm speaking of my man, Preston Spradlin, and coach, congratulations. It is official. It is official, and it feels good. Y your initial thoughts when you got the phone call from uh, Athletics Director Brian Hutchinson, what goes through your mind, and, and obviously I know it was a burden lift off to, lifted off your shoulders. Well, it was. Uh, obviously been a long year, been a long four months that sure. this process has been going on. And, you know, let me say this. I'm, I'm so thankful for Brian and, and Dr. Andrews and everyone involved in our administration up on campus and, and certainly here in the AAC and our athletics mm -hmm. department and all of our coaches and staffs and from every sport and, and our team as well. Um, it took a lot of people, and, uh, and and a lot of people deserve credit for this, and they certainly deserve credit for giving me this, sure. this opportunity, because I know it wasn't an easy thing to do, and I was very, very thankful. So, you know, getting the call from Brian, uh, it was it was a terrific feeling. It was a it was it's a moment that I'll always remember because it's a moment that a dream of mine came true. Mm -hmm. You know, to be a Division One head coach, uh, obviously to do it at a young age like I've, I'm able to do is very, I understand the, the weight that carries. I understand how fortunate and how blessed I am and that, that's not taken lightly with me. Um, so I'm very, very fortunate. Uh, I'm very thankful, very humbled. And I was excited when Brian called me and uh, quickly after, um, I, was, I was excited and I was a little nervous about who do you call, who can you call, who can you tell. Right, right those types of things and uh, making sure that you, you do all those things right. You don't want to you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings and telling one person and, and not another and you want everyone to keep it under wraps as best you can and uh, that stuff's a little you feel a little covert <laughs> in that situation but uh, quickly after that I was I was I, my mind started building towards the future. You, you got to get to work. Got to get to work. I, I hit the recruiting show literally 20 minutes later uh, to make sure that I got out in the community and saw some some kids, some some potential players for, to to bring here, and um, you know it's part of it. It's what you look for. You don't want to just uh, get great news like that and sit back and, and rest and think, well, I've done I've done it. <laughs> you haven't done it yet, Chief, is what I told myself. You got a long way to go. We got a team. We've got to build. We got a we got a, a, a fan base. We have to reignite. That we've got to reconnect to these players to connect with our new ones coming in to their coach. And we got to get this this region excited about college basketball here at Moorhead State once again. And I'm uh, I'm truly blessed for the opportunity to do that. Stay with us. Much more with the new head basketball coach at Moorhead State University, Preston Spradlin. That's next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Welcome back to this special bonus edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball, along with the Eagle head basketball coach, Preston Spradlin. Feels good to say that. I'm David Patrick. And Preston, you and I had countless conversations over the course of the past half season about, you know, you obviously wanted this job. I wanted you to have this job. So, so many people rallied around you and, and got in your corner. And, you know, speaking, speaking from my perspective, uh, it, it's hard to be patient. It's hard to be patient with the process. But to the credit of Brian Hutchinson, the athletic director here at MSU, he went through the proper process 
did everything, crossed all the T's and dotted all the I's, and in the end, you're the last man standing, which is a credit to you, but it's also a credit to Brian and his staff because due diligence was done. Absolutely, and uh, you know, let me touch on this. You know, I was I was very fortunate. And uh, the thing that I did going throughout the season when sure. I was able to, when I was fortunate enough to take this thing over from, from, from Brian is, um, you know, I was able to do my best mm -hmm. to keep everything I did, all my thoughts, all my actions, and my focus about our players and our season and their experience. And we've talked about that throughout the season on the show here. So the moment our season ended, we weren't happy with the way it ended, obviously, but it forced me to shift my focus to myself right. and getting the job and uh, I didn't like that feeling but it was it was something that I had to do and it's necessary and it's part of it and um, you know I, I'm as thankful for getting the job for the opportunity it allows me now to get back to making my focus about our players our team and our community than anything else but I'm also thankful for, for Brian you know sticking to his guns and uh, doing like you said his due diligence to go through the entire process it starts with someone like Brian and our administration who want to be here at Moorhead State and they care about this place, they care about these people, they care about everyone who comes through here no matter if it's two, three, four years, whatever that may be. And you hire a coach that, that does the same thing and uh, that was the, the my motto throughout the whole thing. I'm glad it's stuck and I'm very blessed that I have the opportunity to do that and I have the opportunity to build my program with people who want to be here as well. Stay with us. When we come back, we're going to talk recruiting, which I know is a favorite subject with a lot of Eagle fans, and we'll talk about that with the head coach of the Moorhead State men's basketball team, Preston Spradlin. That's next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Recruiting. Right now, how are we looking? You know, we're in a really good spot. You know, we've had a lot of kids who have hung in there with us throughout this process, and we've worked hard to recruit them and keep them there. And uh, they've hung in. They're excited. They've been excited all year with what's going on, with the wins, with the numbers, with the story, with our current players, their success, the success they're going to have now and are having now playing professionally, earning their degrees, a lot of bonuses there, a lot of, a lot of positives, I should say, uh, uh, adding to our momentum. So now it's time. Now it's time. Our season is ending. A lot of the kids that we're recruiting, their seasons are ending, whether it is in junior college or high school. And, um, you know, so now it's getting that point in time where we're, we're banking on the body of work we've done with them as a staff, and, and we're getting into the position to bring them to our campus. And that's where we really get a lot of things done because what I like to see is for these kids to come to campus and all the things that we've talked about, they get to live it and breathe it and they get to feel it, and it's there for them to, to experience it with their families firsthand. So it's not a smoke and mirrors. It's not a <laughs> bill of goods. It's real. So, you know, we're in a terrific spot. We've obviously got some gaps we've got to fill. We've got to fill them immediately with five seniors graduating, which is a really, really uh, special thing coming up on May 13th when we watch those five guys walk across that stage and earn their degrees. That's what it's all about. It's what it's all about. It's what we talk to potential student athletes about. And uh, so to see that happen is very, very special. Um, but it, it leaves you with those holes like we talked about. You got to replace uh, two all conference guys, you got to replace four starters. So, you know, those are things that we've got to do. And um, honestly, it starts with your returning team. We're excited about the guys who are coming back. You know, Miguel Descent, Lamontre Harris, um, right on down the line, our terrific freshmen and Jamin Henson, Jordan Walker, and Alonzo Chapman, Keon Alexander. All those guys coming back, and then they give us a great foundation going forward. You know, um, I can't name names in recruiting. You're not allowed to do that. One guy that I can name is uh, a, a young man that we signed in the early signing period in November is Cedric Wright. So once he signed to become a Moorhead State Eagle, He's coming, and uh, he's been he's been waiting patiently to see what happens with me. And uh, I, it was a phone call that I was very excited to make to him and his family to ensure them that I'm going to be here. I'm going to be his coach, and uh, I, that was a lot of joy for that one. But you know, Cedric is a guy redshirted at a Division One as a freshman and played at Chipola mm -hmm. College this year. And so, as a freshman in the Panhandle Conference, which is the same one that Xavier Moon, Treshad Williams, and Dewan Marrero played in. As a freshman, he was first team all panhandle. 
those guys were all second team all panhandle as sophomores so to put it in perspective for our fans we're very excited about Cedric coming here and and bringing a toughness that Moorhead State has, has seen on the floor here for a very long time um, and, and 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 a great guy who's going to be a part of our culture and embody the things that we want to build going forward. Welcome back into this edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball. And I'm privileged to be joined now by the Director of Athletics at Moorhead State University, Brian Hutchinson. And Brian, a big week for this basketball program. On Thursday night, the decision made to uh, remove the interim tag from Preston Spradlin and name him as the head basketball coach. I know you're very pleased with the decision, but talk about the process and obviously the pool of applicants were many. Yeah. Well, I certainly don't, um, don't look at it as removing the interim tag. Preston went through the process uh, just like all the other uh, applicants that we had go through it and, uh, and earn, the, earn the position. And of course, we had a body of work to, to use to evaluate him that, that was a little bit different than some of the other candidates, but, but clearly because of the rigorous process that we went through to, to ensure we got it right, sure. um, Preston, Preston emerged and we couldn't be happier. What impressed you about him? What was the thing that stuck out that you, you finally got to this decision, this is the guy? Yeah, Preston is very much a student first uh, coach in, in, in his approach. And I think just given where we are with our program right now and, and some of the things, the successes we've had, but, but understanding what student athletes need today to have as ultimate success, um, we were really looking for that in, in candidates. And so I think we identified some some people late in the, down the stretch that, that certainly fit that bill for us. but. But I think given uh, uh, Preston's wealth of knowledge of the Commonwealth, his ability to, to very clearly articulate Moorhead State basketball I think was important. Uh, you know, we talked to a lot of people uh, that, that have some influence on us and, and, uh, and Preston's name just kept popping up as one who, who you know, this is a guy you've already got in the fold. Um, you really need to, to not take that for granted. And, and so for me, it was certainly, um, let's go through the process, let's make sure that's right. But, but in the end, as, as, uh, as, the, as we got to the finish line, so to speak, I think he really emerged as the guy that I felt uh, could lead us into the future and, and uh, really compete for OVC championships without question. Looking forward in the immediate future, talking next season, where do you see this basketball program? Well, the roster flips. You know, we, we lost five seniors uh, this year. We had two uh, young men leave the program at break. And so uh, next year's team will look very, very different than what this year's team looks. So uh, there's an opportunity to put your stamp on the program immediately. And I expect that that, that will happen in terms of how competitive will be. Our schedule uh, is built. It's another tough schedule. We're accustomed to playing those here. But, uh, you know, I believe that there are some games there we can win. Uh, there are some games our fans will enjoy watching and being part of, and uh, or whether they're here in Johnson Arena or, or on the road. And so uh, it'll depend you know, on the next 20 or so days that we're um, prior to the signing period are really important. Mm -hmm. So we and they're important for two reasons. We certainly need to make sure that the team that is returning is getting their work in, all the kinds of things they've got to do. But but there are some young men we've got to convince that need to be part of Moorhead State basketball in the future. And, and I'm convinced that Preston and, and whatever staff he's able to put together uh, will be able to do that. Preston has been here for three years now. Talk about the relationship that you and I, or that you and he have developed over that time. Yeah, well, the, our relationship was was one of, of just an assistant coach and an athletic director relationship. That's not all that close. I mean, I, my my general daily dealings are with head coaches, um, uh, but I certainly have been around the program a lot over over his three years and and had an opportunity to observe his work over the course of that time, which was the reason that it, that I gave him the opportunity to be the interim head coach. Um, certainly whenever he took that over, we were in a position of, of a, a program that was uh, a little bit of upheaval and we had some things we had to deal with and I felt like he had some qualities that would lead us through that. Uh, we worked very closely together over the last three months or so and uh, to try to do that, but in terms of, 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 the, of the job going forward, uh, we tried to keep that at bay. You know, we really didn't even talk about that until maybe just before the OVC tournament because we had work to do. Mm -hmm. uh, my work was in trying to identify the basketball mm -hmm. coach and help, and then help our team do the things that we could do and the staff do the things that we could do. But his job was to make sure that the team was ready to go. And so um, I, I kept that away from him. We didn't talk about it until it was appropriate to do so. And so we've developed a good working relationship. I, I suspect that uh, we'll be very close, hip to hip. I, that's what I've said in the, in the process. If we're going to set goals, we're going to do them together. And, and I want to be as helpful as I can in, uh, in making sure that we achieve all those things we need to achieve. Thanks. I appreciate it. It's Brian Hutchinson, the Director of Athletics here at Moorhead State University. Stay with us. More to come on Inside Moorhead State Basketball.
Welcome back to this special Sunday edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball alongside the Eagle Head basketball coach Preston Spradlin. And, and Preston, very important. we got so many people to thank, uh, folks that have been in your corner, have been pulling for you, uh, people that pull for this program. It's not just about a head coach or a player. People that pull for this program and so many sponsors and, 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 and supporters and season ticket holders, the list goes on and on. You know, that's the, best, that's the most important piece in this entire thing. Uh, my job as the head coach is I've got to make sure that I recruit great players, as we talked about, recruit to a culture, recruit to this place, and build a team, and then make sure that we're organized and we're efficient and we're competing within the hardwood right here and in the classroom. But there's another piece to that. You know, everyone has a stake in this, whether it's a financial stake or it's a, it's cheering loud, it's coming in here, it's uh, you're an alumni, you're the casual fan, you're in town, you're in our surrounding counties and you want to come experience college basketball right in front of you. On a, on a, and you're, you're, you're a part of it. You know, we have a great opportunity here. We have that human element that you don't get to have most places. You know, at the, at the bigger level, maybe at the University of Kentucky, you don't get that, you don't get that same experience with those guys, and it is what it is. It's, it is its own, sure. it is its own, own in, entity there. Uh, but our guys are, are, are attainable, you know what I mean? You can, you, you can see them, you can feel them, you can have class with them, you can, mm -hmm. you can be in the, in, the, in the dining hall with them, you can see them out at the local restaurant, they're going to be shopping where you're shopping. It's a very personal. It's a personal thing. And, and to us, that's what we have to offer that most places don't. So we've got to make sure that we truly, truly embrace that. We embrace it starting in the recruiting process once we bring the kids to campus like we talked about. And then once they, they sign and they come here to, to commit to become part of our program, they're becoming a part of something more than just the 13 to 15 guys that wear that uniform. Just the people in this building and this administration and this staff, they are a part of this community. They're a part of this university. They're a part of this, uni of this region of, of basketball and people who love basketball. <laughs> yes. And again, they all need to get to know you and you need to get to know them. And that's an opportunity that we have here. That's what I'm probably the most excited about is the opportunity to reignite this fan base and get people out here and, and let them be a part of something truly, truly special. You know, we talk about um, it's March Madness right now. It's the greatest <laughs> time of year. It's, it's, it truly is for everyone in sports. They love this time of year. And, you know, you think about uh, Coach Tindall's great teams that he had here and then the NCAA tournaments and DeMonte Harper's shot mm -hmm. goes down in, in, in is the infamous shot that goes down in history. It's played over and over and over. Well, everyone knows where they were when that shot took place, whether they were in the arena, whether they were at B-dubs watching it, and, they, and they've got a piece of that. Yeah. Well, we've got to make sure that happens again. Yes. And, and not, not only with that, David, is those types of moments happen in this gym all the time. Mm -hmm. They happen twice a week, as a matter of fact. And so we need everyone here to experience that with us, to feel it. You know, when, when we win a game and we huddle up and we walk through the, the, the great tunnel of cheerleaders and things like that, the best part is when there's a group full of kids standing down there waiting to have a shoulder bump with Xavier Moon or to wait patiently out of the locker room so they can get a picture with these guys, get an autograph with these guys, spend time with them. They have an inside joke because they're a kid that they've been coming to the game all season long and that's what's special <laughs> is that we have an opportunity to provide real role models who are here for a while and are ingrained in the community they want to be here they want to be in your life they want you to be in their life and that's what makes this thing special so that one day when we get this program back and we're cutting down those nets everyone experiences that joy I believe Preston without a shadow of a doubt and I believe this the whole time the best days for Moorhead State basketball are still ahead no question about it. Absolutely. You know, they, they, there's a great history here. There's great. been great coaches here. There's been great cr players. So I don't want that to be lost either. You know, that's something else. Let me talk about that for a second. Our former players, whether no matter who they played for, mm -hmm. this is their program. Absolutely. And at this point in time, I'm their coach. Yes. And I'm very proud to do that. And they're more than welcome to always be back here. This is their gym. <laughs> You know, the excitement of this program and the, the things that we, the luxuries that my players enjoy now is because of them and the body of work and the hours that they put in. And so they should always feel something from that. This university owes stuff to them. And if I'm the guy that's the head coach, that it's my responsibility to bridge that gap between them and make them feel welcome so they understand this is their program going forward. Well, Preston, here is to many 
many, many years of working together, and I look forward to it. It's going to be a good ride. Thanks so much for watching this season. So happy to have the head coach on board now officially, and uh, we'll be back here next year. We're just getting started. Lots more seasons of inside Moorhead State basketball to come, and, and I hope uh, you as fans will be along for the ride. For the head coach, Preston Spradlin, I'm your host, David Patrick, and we will see you next basketball season right here on the CW Lexington for Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball was brought to you by Jack Rowe Insurance, your independent agent serving all your insurance needs. The Citizens Bank of Moorhead, the home of totally free checking. Larry Fannin, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. Lakeside Christian Academy, located on US 60 West in Moorhead. Educating for eternity. Visit us online at lakesidechristianacademy.org. Stand for Builders Paving and Sealing of West Liberty. Professional work at low prices. That's how we roll. The Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Northcutt and Son Home for Funerals, serving others as we would like to be served. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, where friendliness prevails. By J.W. Wood and Quality Staves in Wallingford. And by U.S. Bank, all of us serving you.